Hey coders, and welcome to episode two of our Dart Season playlist on the Flutter course. In this episode, we're going to be learning about operators. Now, operators aren't unique to the Dart programming language alone. They are ubiquitous, basically, across all of the programming languages. And you can think of operators as shorthand symbols that tell your program to perform some action. Now, a lot of these operators are intuitive. For example, you have arithmetic operators such as the plus symbol, which represents adding. So if you want to add two numbers together in your program, you could just put a plus symbol between them. You also have subtract, multiply, and divide, and those are all very, again, intuitive. Now, other of these operators are less intuitive, such as the percent sign, which represents modulo. You also have the exclamation point, which represents not, and then the exclamation point followed by an equal sign that represents not equal to. Now, I think it's a lot easier to show rather than tell you about all these operators. In fact, I don't even have all of them listed on this slide. So let's jump on in over to the code and put a couple of these into use in the code base. I'm going to try and not spend too much time explaining all of the different operators just because a lot of them are super intuitive. Plus, if you're watching this video, there's a good chance you're coming from a programming background. So let's just get into it. I'm going to first execute our script so that we can get some output in our console. And so let's get into the arithmetic operators first. You have your plus, minus, asterisk, or multiply, and divide which are very self-explanatory. These, This one's basically just adding up numbers. This one is going to be subtracting numbers, multiplying numbers, and dividing numbers. But the first operator that may look a little bit foreign to you is this right here. All right, so this is basically known as integer division. So you're going to be taking, uh, uh, it's going to be working similar to a division uh, uh, operator. So you're gonna be taking your numerator and dividing it by that denominator if we see right here, this is equal, or this is the same as this, which is equal to 22. So we're taking 22 and dividing it by three. Now what's that? That's around 7.33333, or seven with a remainder of one. So basically this operator is going to cut off that uh, everything past the decimal point, or basically remove any remainder and just return the integer, the whole number from that division which is seven, and that's exactly what we get right here. Then, now this next one is a modulo. This is very prevalent across different programming languages. Uh, this is also gonna be doing something like a division, right? So it's gonna be taking 23, or 22, right, right here, dividing it by three, but instead of returning the whole number, right, it actually returns whatever is left, the remainder. And as we knew from this, 22 divided by three, that's seven, with a remainder of one. So this modulo operator is going to be returning that one, which is the remainder. All right, the next one is the increment and decrement. These are very uh, common across programming languages. Basically, that's just going to be taking this variable right here and adding one to it and then reassigning it to the outcome. So this right here is the same thing as saying David's cookies equals David's cookies plus one, and a similar perf uh, operation happens when you decremate. You're just uh, you're just going to be subtracting one. All right, the next ones are the relational operators. These are very easy to understand as well. Uh, all of these are going to be returning Boolean values. So does David's cookies greater is David's cookies greater than uh, Joe's cookies? Well, as we saw from right here, David's cookies is equal to four. Joe's cookies is equal to six, so four is not equal, or four is not greater than six, that's going to return false. However, four is less than six, so that returns true. You also have greater than or equal to four, you have less than or equal to eight, and then you have this operator right here, which is the double equal signs. Now, a lot of beginner programmers uh, get this double equal sign mixed up with just the single op uh, equal sign. So the double equal sign is an operator that compares two values. The single one is an assignment operator. So does Courtney's cookies equal to 12? Well, yes, it does because we assign Courtney's cookies as 12. So 12 does equal 12, and that returns true right here. 12 does not equal to 11, so uh, that also returns true, right? Because 12 is not equal to 11. 
and that is a true statement so it's going to return true all right next is the logical operators this is if you want to compare many different conditions right so this double ampersand is equal to and in and operators everything every single condition has to be equal to true for the entire set to be equal to true right so name does in fact equal to David right we assigned it up there and Courtney's cookies does in fact uh, is greater than or equal to 10 so both of these conditions is true so the entire set now is going to return true right there now the logical or means that only one of the conditions has to be true everything else can be false or you know everything everything can be true but at least one thing has to be true so this is in fact true but Courtney's cookies less than 10 that equals to false but that doesn't matter because this is equal to true so the entire set is equal to true uh, for the not operator you have the exclamation point basically that's going to take what it, it, everything uh, everything in this expression and just reverse uh, whatever that was so this again was true right we just figured that out from the last print statement so this this bang right here this exclamation point is going to flip that and now it's going to return false the next ones are the assignment operators we have seen at least this one before this is basically going to be re, uh, assigning the value to this um, this identifier right here this variable so cookies is going to now be equal to five these ones are very common as well these are plus equals minus equals multiply equals and divide equals it's very similar to in fact to the increment and decrement operators however we get now to assign a value to or we get to assign how much or how uh, how much we're adding to or subtracting from or multiplying to right so with these increment and decrement operators that's just plus one or minus one but this gives you a little bit more control you can say plus three say or minus three and again this is the same thing plus equals three is the same thing as saying uh, cookies equals cookies plus three and the same with all of these uh, operators as well now this one's a little bit more challenging to understand uh, this is dart specific uh, basically what this is saying is uh, the two uh, the two question marks side by side basically means check to see if it, it, whatever precedes it equals null all right so this all together right here says that if the cookies this variable cookies equals null then now assign it to this value right here now we know that cookies is equal to five so it's not going to assign uh, cookies equal to 10 because cookies is not null cookies is a five right so we're going to print out uh, cookies again and that's going to be equal to five not 10. all right the last one is the ternary operators uh, this first one is basically shorthand for writing an if else statement um, so you've probably seen this before if you if you code in javascript right uh, so we're going to first check to see if courtney's cookies is greater than or equal to 10 if that's true right so th this is this question mark is basically checking if that's true then return this statement right here or this value right here and if it's false so this colon says that if it's false then return this value so Courtney's cookies definitely is greater than or equal to 10 if you remember right here we assigned it to 12 so we're going to be returning yes and that's exactly what we print out to the console finally the last one is the double question mark again we, we explained a little bit up here basically this double question mark means check to see if this uh, variable is null so uh, we're, what we're saying down here is as var z is equal to x however if this variable x is null then actually return y if it's not null then then assign var z equal to x but if x is null then uh, assign var z equal to five so as you can see var z or var x this variable x is indeed null so we're, we're going to assign the variable z actually to y or we're going to we're going to assign the value y to the variable z and so when we print out z it shouldn't give us x it should give us y and that's exactly what happens here in the console we get print z and then that prints out as five exactly the value of y 
All right, guys, I know that may have been confusing, especially if it's your first time ever programming and you're learning Dart from scratch. Um, but if that's the case, I would definitely recommend that you rewind the, the video and rewatch a lot of the different sections. Pause the video, take some time just to soak in all these operators. Uh, you're going to be using a lot of them basically every single time you write a new program. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the very next episode.